Have you ever wondered why teleportation still lives only in science fiction? The idea sounds simple. Vanish in one place, appear in another. But reality isn't so forgiving because true teleportation isn't travel. It's destruction and rebirth. To teleport something, you must erase it completely. Every atom, every molecule, every quantum state, and then rebuild it atom by atom somewhere else. Imagine a wooden chair. To move it instantly, you'd have to scan billions of particles, transmit an impossible amount of data, and reconstruct it perfectly down to the last splinter. Now, replace that chair with a human being. Our bodies hold 10 octillion atoms. Every cell, every neuron, every flicker of consciousness, all must be copied with absolute precision. One microscopic error, and the person who arrives on the other side isn't the one who left. That's the real paradox. If the original you is destroyed and an exact duplicate appears somewhere else, who is that person? Is it still you or just a flawless imitation that believes it's you? Science has already taken the first step. Physicists have achieved quantum teleportation, transferring the state of one particle to another instantly across distance. But that's not matter moving through space. It's more like copy and delete. For real teleportation, we'd have to control matter on a subatomic level, rewrite the very fabric of the universe. And for now, that power still belongs to fiction. So maybe the question isn't if we'll ever teleport, but whether when we do, we'll still be ourselves. <laughs>